saw Christina run her her set, which by yeah. the way was fucking hilarious. That's her new stuff. Yeah, she's funny, dude. Yeah, yeah. She's. I haven't seen funny. it. I haven't seen it. She's new stuff. funny. Yeah, she's hilarious. Her bit about fat models is off the charts. It God. was so funny. We've got a lot of heat. We've been talking about that a lot. Yeah, a yeah. lot of hate. People are mad. Oh yeah, fat people. Well, yeah, and fat models. They all found it. <laughs> I mean, because. I know she has she has an, an, her act, but we were also just having conversations on podcasts about it. Yeah, <clears throat> and uh, you know my my thing was I go you know every everybody has a, a a preference for whatever their standard of beauty that that part I'm I'm fine with. But my case was that when people go, you shouldn't talk about um, body types or people's bodies. I'm like, what are you talking what about? What about Bert? But what are we? What are you talking about? Because yeah. we all talk about other people's bodies you do it in your head you do it to your like you do it to yourself you say it to yourself you say it to your friends it's part of the way our brains are organized is that you have a, a commentary about the attraction level of somebody else 100 percent. i mean it's always done even the people who lecture you about it those people will still if you walked away with one of them and they're like, you're like, hey, have you seen so and so? They're like, yeah, yeah, I don't know what's going on with. It. They when still she comment. gets over two sixty, I think she goes too far. Yeah, they would still comment about yeah. it. And yeah. it's like now, <clears throat> the funny thing is to me is if you go like, well, I'm a model. Okay, so you signed up to have your photo taken because you go, I want my picture out there to show what I am. You have to be open to any criticism about it. Just like if if I sign up to say things, I'm open to the criticism of of you commenting on what I say. You can tell me I suck, I'm not funny. Like, I have to be able to accept that because this is what I signed up for. Yes. So you signed up to be a model. It is open season. It is fair game yep. to say whatever about the way you look. So I just, I don't, I don't embrace the idea that you can't comment about the way somebody looks who signed up for, hey, look at my looks. That's it's their- 100%. Yeah, no, no ifs, ands, or buts. This, I said it uh, much more rude things. I, I should be clear. I wasn't yeah. this um, eloquent <laughs> about it. I, I was like, you know, I, I want to see beautiful, by my standards, yeah. uh, women, and fuck it, even guys. Like, if, if, if you're a guy and you're a model, I want you to have almost an unattainable body. Right. Because that's like, I go, that's a model. Like, he's got a six pack and he's fucking, you know, beautiful skin. And you yeah. go, like, that, that guy got the gift. Those, yeah. those are his gifts. He's right. genetically gifted to look like that. The woman that, like, you know, we grew up with the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue, and you would see just stunning women. They're 10 out of, or 11 out of 10s. You go, yeah, I, I don't even see a woman that looks like this ever walking around. Right. The standard of beauty. And that was your introduction to, like, almost fantasy, uh, getting into sex, right? Because you're a, like, probably a young teen, and you're like, what the fuck is this? Like, Elle McPherson? You're like, I've never seen a woman like this before. Right. And then I go, you know, I enjoy that personally as the standard of models. <clears throat> yeah. So for me, I don't know, you have a fucking a model that looks like she's the long snapper for the Colts. Like, I'm going <laughs> to say, hey, I don't think you're a model. I think, you know, I think you should dig ditches or something. I don't know. I just feel like it's fair to say that you look like that. You're not my kind of model. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't like the way your body looks, but. I mean, it depends on what you're doing. The problem is the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue has always been beautiful women yeah. with great bodies. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole idea behind the swimsuit edition. edition. It's almost, it's fantasy level. Yeah. They're just like, you literally could go to 100 beaches well, all over the world. You'd never see a woman that looks like this. Or you might see one. But maybe. And go, wow, look at her. Look, look, what yeah. the fuck is that? Like when you go to a beach and there's always a guy on the beach that's just jacked, mm -hmm. shredded, and you're like, wow, you prepared for the beach, buddy. Yeah. Way to go. All you year it. was today. Yeah, you, you deserve know. it. Yeah. As you're walking around, strutting your stuff like a peacock. Yeah. And, and keep going back and forth. Show us that. Walk around the pool a few times. Yeah. Yeah. Let it out. Let it out, buddy. I remember we were in uh, Phoenix once for a show, and we are hanging out at the pool at the W Hotel, and this fucking guy walked by, and he had like 4% body fat, and mm -hmm. he was like 250 pounds. It was the most ridiculous human being I'd ever seen yeah. outside of a gym. I was like, dude. And uh, I was with Eddie Bravo. I go, look at this motherfucker. Yeah. I go, that motherfucker looks good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. You go like, he was he was just like, dang, 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 yeah. just shredded everywhere. He looked like he was so excited to be at a place where he could take his shirt off. Yeah. Good for him. And the good criticism is when you 
when you showcase that and celebrate that, that you're endorsing unattainable body types and you're making people feel bad about their body. And I just don't believe that. I just don't believe it. I believe that, you know, you all, we all have choices. And yes, we're all built different. We have different genetics. But I don't believe that having this incredible freak be the model is uh, negative for society. I don't think that that's true. It's not negative. It puts a lot of pressure on people sure. to try to look better, but so what? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Why is that a problem? Well, competition is a part of everything. Com there's intellectual competition. When someone yeah. achieves a Nobel Prize, is that a, an unattainable level of intellect that other people can't achieve? And you sure. shouldn't flaunt that with awards? Yeah, you should. I well. mean, what do we do when someone achieves like Jeff Bezos' levels of wealth? Is that an unattainable version of wealth? We shouldn't. He shouldn't be allowed to have a yacht that's fucking 60,000 feet high? Well, like, what do we do? There's people that definitely say that. Yeah, you know? but yeah. why? It's like this is the, the same participation trophy crowd. Like, it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. It bothers me. I, I, it irritates me that um, that people feel like, you know. Well, you work really hard. It's one yeah. of the reasons why it bothers you. Yeah. Because it's like that applies to a lot of other things, too. 